Meantime, a walk of shame for the once powerful Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. Dennis Hastert was third in line to the presidency of the United States. Tonight, he joins a line of disgraced politicians. Dennis Hastert is at home, free on bond tonight. He pleaded not guilty in federal court today to bank fraud charges and lying to the FBI. CBS 2's Brad Edwards was at the Dirksen Federal Building when Hastert went to court today. He's live there tonight for us. Brad? Good evening to you, Rob. Mr. Hastert is home on a $4,500 bond among a myriad of restrictions, including removing all fire harms from his home within the next two weeks. The, the beginning was over. Through the tinted window, our photographer racked focus. Hastert solo in the back seat of a Lincoln. I mean, what did you see? That was a broken man. The former speaker lost his footing in the melee on entrance. Then Mr. Insider was like every Joe average at security check. Then off to court, Hastert said, yes, sir, just above mute. He surrendered his passport, agreed to a DNA swab, and no contact with potential victims or witnesses. The judge vowed fairness but owned a dual conflict. He donated to Hastert before and also was an assistant U.S. attorney. Both sides' attorneys can decide if he's to continue on the case. Do you think both sides will keep him? Well, there's a lot of variables over there with judges. It's better to take the, the, the one you know. Then the long ride home to Plano, where Hastert is tonight. In recent weeks, he told close associates he was a victim too, a man alleged to have paid big bucks to cover up sexual misdeeds. So we asked. Mr. Hastert, do you still feel like a victim, Mr. Hastert? He looked with acknowledgment and didn't mutter a word. Also, no comment afterward from either the U.S. Attorney's Office or Hastert's high-powered D.C. attorney. Max imprisonment if convicted, five years. We're live tonight, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, Brad, thank you. Well, what's next for Hastert depends on what happens with the judge today. Judge Thomas Durkin said he intends to disqualify himself because in the past, he made contributions to Hastert's campaigns, and he also worked with Hastert's son at a law firm. But he gave both sides an opportunity to request he stay on. Both sides have until 4 p.m. this Thursday to make that decision.